Good morning, hot dogs. For today's announcements, we'll be talking about Neon Night, Picture Day, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Picture day is today. The order is freshmen, sophomores, juniors, then seniors. Pictures will be taken throughout the whole day. From grades 9 and 11, they will be taken in the auxiliary gym and seniors in the collaboration space. Neon night is tomorrow, so make sure to get your neon gear in the comments to help and support our hot dogs playing tomorrow. Don't forget that Heroes of Hope is this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be breaded chicken sandwich, lines 3 and 4 chicken breakfast pizza, and tomorrow, lines 1 and 2 will be mini corn dogs and lines 3 and 4 hot ham and cheese. Now to the weather and sports with David and Avi. Thank you, Cohen. This morning it was 72 degrees. Today it will be a high of 84 degrees with the low being 72 degrees. Today it will also be cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. So make sure you cover up. And now to sports. Back uh, again on my YouTube set, but now on sports. Tomorrow night, the football team will go up against the Clinton Prairie Gelfers. This game will be on the Hot Dog Network YouTube channel in partnership with the ISC Sports Network. The girls golf team traveled to Western Boone last night. Emily Shipley played well and shot a personal best of 40. Chrislyn Shipley also played well and shot a 54. Great job, ladies. Now on to tennis. Jake Swinford earned his first varsity win at one singles. Jake played a smart and level-headed match from beginning to end. Jackson Ray, Jackson Ray played in two exhibition matches, splitting the two matches one and one. Jackson had good ground strokes and well-played points during his matches. The next tennis match will be at home versus Western Boone at 5 p.m. on Tuesday night. After school, there will be a wrestling call-out meeting in the wrestling room, so be there. Now, fall workouts for boys basketball begins next Tuesday from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Ox Gym. Any boy that intends on playing this year, not participating in a fall sport, should be in attendance. Workouts will run every Tuesday, Thursday throughout the fall. We'll begin probably around 3 o'clock. Can't wait to see you all there. Plus, don't take any offense, I'm going to look like Dame and then the OKC Thunder at walk-off three. Now let's send it to A.V. Nice Flannel Hernandez for some girls' soccer information. Hit A.V. The Lady Hot Dog soccer team traveled across the river to open up Sagamore Conference play. The game was pushed to a 6.30 to stop, fight off the heat and turn the evening into a really good night for some high school soccer action. The game started out as a fast pace with Crossroad using a nice run after a long through ball to get the early 1-0 lead. After that, the Lady Hot Dogs controlled large stretches of the game and got some quality looks at the goal, but just couldn't quite capitalize. That all changed with about 15 minutes left in the first half, when senior Mia Hernandez took a hard shot on the goal that the Athenian goalie blocked right back at Mia, who buried the rebound shot into the lower left corner of the goal to even the score with the Mitch made the halftime score 1-1. The Lady Hot Dogs came out in the second half, but they just couldn't quite find the back of the net. The Hot Dogs defense did a great job while the second half had plenty of action. Regulation still time ended with the score of 1-1. This led to two seven-minute overtime periods. The Lady Hot Dogs started to find themselves in, in the windy situation at the end of regulation, managed to find another gear and put a lot of pressure on the cross the road defense, but sleep simply couldn't find it break enough, couldn't break them enough to earn the win in overtime. Both overtime periods ended with no goals leading to a penalty shootout. There was a goal made by Vanessa Guajardo after making a clutch save on shot four to win the game for Frankfurt. The win moves the Lady Hot Dogs to a 2-2 on the season and 1-0 in the Sagamore Conference action. Next up for the ladies is their own hot dog invite on Saturday. You better be there for real. Game one will be, on the will be a rematch of the championship game from last year when the Lady Dogs beat Tri-Central. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed today's announcements, make sure to like and subscribe for more. We hope you have a great rest of your day.